it's Lori here today with my wax basket for the week. I'm so excited to show you the items that I pulled out. Before I show you everything that I have, I want to take a moment and thank all of you for being a part of this channel. We hit 500 subscribers, yay! <laughs> so I am so happy about that. So thank you, all of you. I appreciate you so, so much. Okay, so this week's basket, as I mentioned yesterday, is going to be Welcome Summer or the Ode to the Start of Summer. I know it's not officially summer on the calendar, but it feels like summer here in Michigan. We are expecting 90 degree temperatures almost all week. I think by the end of the week it's going to cool off a little bit, but... <laughs> My husband and I are true northerners, so he's from Maine, I'm from Michigan, we live in Michigan now, and we like our cold, we like our snow, yeah, so this 90 degree temps is not our thing. <laughs> we will be hiding in the house in the air conditioning for sure, and so I wanted to pull some scents that just were fruity and fun and reminded me a little bit of the start of the summer season, and yeah, so let's jump into all of this deliciousness that I have spread out in front of me. So like I said, these are some fun fruity scents that remind me of summertime. Air conditioning is running like all of the time because obviously it's hot outside and so I don't know, I'm not getting as good an airflow as I did. I don't think my heat runs as much as my air is right now. So I might have to reposition my warmers and figure that out for the summer and see how that works. So where to start? I guess it doesn't really matter. We'll start at one side. So these would be from, for my main living space. I have Hayden Row Island Girl, and I thought that it would go good with Pina Colada. So these are two scents that I thought would be fantastic for the summer. Love her snap bars. I wish she had, um, had scents offered in that a little bit more often. So Pina Colada just smells exactly like a tropical drink. We have Backyard Bash here from Salt Mountain. I know everybody was going crazy about this one. It is strawberry cream cheese frosting, twisted pretzel, and whipped cream. So I'm excited to give this one a try. It does smell to me like pretzels and strawberry. I get whiffs of the whipped cream. I haven't melted it, but that's in the bag. We have Savannah Blue Summer Fun. This one I think somebody sat on it's post office. I don't know. So this is Satsuma Cotton Candy, Pineapple, Strawberry, and Whipped Cream. I really get the Satsuma in here, so we will see. It smells like kind of like a creamsicle. We'll see if that comes out a little bit more on warming. We have Teddy Bees, Life is Good, Coconut Cream, Pineapple, Orange, and Vanilla Ice Cream. So this really reminds me of, of the Pina Colada also on cold, so we will see. Okay, I picked up some tropical drinks for this week in the evenings. <laughs> I'm going to have just a tropical like oasis going here. We also have another one from Teddy Bee's Laid on the Beach and Strawberry Boom Boom, which is a blend of beach nights and boardwalk marshmallow clouds layered with strawberry pound cake, BBW type, and Boom Boom cream. So that sounds really interesting. I'm excited to try that. And I have my little basket over here. <laughs> so you see, I like tossing them on the floor. <laughs> They're going in the basket. We have saltwater taffy from Hayden Row. This is really strong. This is really nice candy, saltwater taffy type smell. Can't wait, or scent. I can't wait to melt that a little bit. And then I was thinking I didn't have a lot for my bathroom, but here's one. <laughs> As this avalanche is, that's not good. Okay, yeah. So I am throwing them on the floor. They're just avalanching on their own. <laughs> we have footy pajamas from Hayden Row, which is sweet lavender, blueberry, and lemon laundry. So I will use some of this in my bathroom. This is nice. When I first got it, I was a little iffy on it, but this is really changing. It's a really nice lemon blueberry laundry type of set. So I will enjoy this one. And it's a nice fruity blend. So yeah, a lot of these are. I have Vintage Chic, which is San Sandy's Famous Mango Orange Julius. Mango Orange Julius topped with whipped cream. This is such a gorgeous Orange Julius with the hints of the mango in here. Mm really really nice i would like to use this up so i think i mentioned in a previous video that i'm going to try to use up one or two loaves a month i'm trying for two but that might be a little bit stretching it <laughs> we will see but this was a loaf that i had from l3 and i'm going to work on this one this week 
It is pink sugar, pink frosted cake, don't cross streams. I don't have a lot of bakery pulled for this week, so I thought this would be perfect. Really like this. It needed a little bit of an extra cure time, I will say. When I first got it, I was kind of like, eh, I don't smell anything. This is fabulous. We'll totally repurchase. Then I have from Wandering in Wonderland, I have Smurf Breath, which is Carnival Cotton Candy, Vanilla Ice Cream Scoop Red, Hints of Blue Raspberry Cotton Candy, and Whipped Cream Topping. I mean, these are so gorgeous. You guys know I've said I'm having problems getting the wax to throw. I don't know if it's my warmers or just the layout of my house or whatever, but I'm going to continue with what I have and we'll see what happens. We'll try that scent. Sounded good for this week. I have another one from Vintage Chic. I love this. Burton and Ernie. Satsuma Blueberry and Lemon Lime Fizz topped with Orange Whip. I have rebagged this into these poly bags. Don't tend to like bakery bags, you guys know. So anyway, so if you see it in the... <laughs> if you see a lot of my things in poly bags going forward, you'll know why. I just love this. I get that her Satsuma is my favorite. I say that all the time. This, you definitely get the blueberry in here. So it's a blueberry Satsuma type of blend. So yeah, fantastic. All right, we have Savannah Blue Tropical Twister, Blue Hawaiian, Blue Raspberry Slushy, and Saltwater Taffy. I have from that Smell Good Shop, Orange Dream, which is Juicy Orange and Creamy Vanilla. Like an orange creamsicle. Really get the orange in that. It's a really bright, fresh orange. So That'll be nice. It's different than some of the other creamsicles type scents that I pulled out. I also have another one from Savannah Blue. Strawberry Icebox Tea and Cakes. So this is Strawberry Shortcake, Graham Crackers, and Tea and Cakes. I had to have a Tea and Cakes blend, right? <laughs> You'll notice there's an absence of something in here. And yeah, so see if you can guess what the absence is <laughs> once we go through this. All right, from L3, we have Strawberry Pound Cake. Vanilla Ice Cream and Salty Sea Air. So this one, really, I got this in February, early February, and really wasn't hitting the right notes <laughs> to my nose. And it is now, it's so pretty. I guess the Salty Sea Air has kind of mellowed a little bit and combined a little bit more with that whipped cream, right? Or vanilla ice cream. So it's like a vanilla blend with a strawberry pound cake. I will say salty sea air is still the predominant note, at least on cold, but it seems more seasonal to my nose. And I was like, you know what? I think I, I think it's a good week to melt that one. We had Broadway Wax, Fascinating Rhythm, which is Fruit Punch, Hard Candy, Blueberry Crush, and Cereal Marshmallow Bar. On cold, I definitely get the Fruit Punch and the Blueberry in here. I don't really get Cereal Marshmallow Bar, you know, like a cereal scent in here. So we'll see how it does. I have another one. You might have seen it in my thumbnail. I mean, look at these colors. Look how gorgeous this is. <laughs> this is Broadway Wax, Be a Clown, Grape Soda, Skittles, Punch Drunk, Strawberry Raspberry Guava. I will say this is kind of light in the bag. I really expected to get grape, like overwhelming it, but I don't. So we'll see how this is on warm, but it's kind of light in the bag. I don't know. We'll see. Could transform. Let's hope it does. <laughs> We have Tea Time Tarts, Pound Cake Express, Strawberry Pound Cake, and Lemon Pound Cake. I don't know why I don't have another package of this, but I only bought the small package. I was trying out her wax or their wax, and yeah, this smells so good. All right, we have, I will be rebagging this, but I haven't yet, and it's very full, it's very heavy. This is Vintage Chic, Young and Beautiful, Grape Gummy Bears, Grape Kool-Aid, and Grape Airheads. I love grape, obviously, hello. I was seeing on Facebook, they had, um, somebody had a post like, which one would you choose? Like the different flavors of popsicles and had a picture. I would always choose the grape or the orange. <laughs> so you'll see that reflected. It's my taste and sense as well. So yeah, I love this. This is really nice. And it's not just one dimensional. I thought it would kind of just smell like grape Kool-Aid. I definitely get other grapes in there. It's nice. So I'm looking forward to that one. We have Southbound Candle Company, Good Morning Sunshine, Strawberry Orange Juice, and Creamy Vanilla Smoothie. I did sniff this in the bag, and to me, this is really orange cream skull. I'm not getting a lot of strawberry. So we'll see if it comes out when it's warmed. This was a custom we did with L3. I called it Blonde AF, Ditzy Blonde Iced Lemon Danish. This is just a gorgeous, bright lemon 
Danish type of blend. It almost has a little bit of a fizzy from the blonde moment that's part of the Ditsy Blonde. So yeah, this is fantastic, perfect for this week. And then this, I mean, look at the colors. <laughs> So this is Carnival Time by Southbound, Sweet Cotton Candy, Caramel Apples, Blue Raspberry Snow Cones, and Fresh Funnel Cake. So this one I was really surprised that the apple really doesn't take over this blend. I really don't even get whiffs of the apple, which is interesting. I definitely smell on cold the cotton candy and the blue raspberry snow cone. I don't get the funnel cakes or the apple, which tend to take over these types of blends. I'm really curious to see, but it's strong. I mean, it's very strong in the bag with the cotton candy and the raspberry, so that should be fun. It'll be interesting to try. I keep picking up my bathroom scents. I want to wait on those. All right, Savannah Blue Unicorn Cake, which is cotton candy, rainbow candy drops, sugared lemon, unicorn kisses, blue cotton candy, and white cake. This smells a little odd, I'm going to be honest, in the bag. I can't put my finger on what it is. So I want to melt it because we all know things transform on melting. So I can't kind of, and I love candy scents, but it's kind of an artificial, I don't even want to say like stale candy. I don't know. To my nose, it's got kind of a weird undertone. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the white cake combining with some of the candy. It's giving the, it that type of scent to my nose, at least right now. We'll see. We all know it transforms on melting. So I will report back for sure in my empties and unempties bat baskets. We have Britta's Death the Beach, Salty Sea Air, Coconut Cream Pie, Strawberry and Pineapple. I have two of these. We'll cut these up and enjoy those. It just sounded like a perfect like ocean blend type of scent. All right, I think I got through. That's my main living space. And I have a few for the bathroom here. I'm carrying over a couple of scents from last week. They just seem to fit and I wanted to use a little bit more of them up. It was kind of a weird week of melting last week. We already talked about that, but I wanted to include a few things here, you know, going forward for this week. So this is Rose Girls Lavender Vanilla and Summer Breeze. I absolutely love this. It's hard for me to melt it because I love it, but I need to melt through it and then enjoy some of her other scents. And when she brings it back, I will order <laughs> several. <laughs> because I love that one. We have L3 Lunar Eclipsed Smoked Vanilla Sugar Plum Boardwalk Mallow Clouds or BMC. Love this, it's so pretty. It like transforms it as it's melting. You can get different scents that come out as it continues to melt. It's very, very nice. We have Britta's Murder in Paradise. This is my favorite laundry scent I've said before. It is Margarita, Hawaiian Punch, and Gain Island Fresh. It's just such a beautiful, fruity, laundry blend. I just love it. And then another, the last carryover from my bathroom. I have it going right now. It's fabulous. Ava's Country Covered Beach Warm Sand Salty Sea Air Jasmine and Mandarin. So this is the Beach Bobby Brown type. And you guys know the story about this. I said that it reminds me of Copper Tone on the Lake with my dad. And I love this. It's so pretty. I need to get the perfume. I totally do. <laughs> I'm going to put this on like my Christmas list or something and ask, you know, my husband to get it for me or something like that. I don't know. There's got to be some, I mean, I'm, my birthday is right before Christmas. So <laughs> anyway, I love this and yeah, I will forever get that scent in wax and have it around and just enjoy it. It's fabulous. Then I have two of these small, I don't know, what, what do we call them? <laughs> Melts from Savannah Blue. I have two different ones and it's not enough to go in all my warmers. So I will use these in my bathroom or in here and enjoy them there. This is Valentine's Day, Pink Petal Tea Cakes and Cotton Candy Frosting. So, so, wow, thought I'd give that one a try this week. And also this is, is it Villa? Blackberries, Coast and Green Tea. This is just a really nice fresh type of clean scent. Thought that would be perfect for the bathroom. So I have my scents that I pulled for my bedroom for the week as well. I'm carrying over this Teddy Bees, Dirty Blonde, which is Orange Sherbet, Marshmallow, Champagne, Raspberries, and Cranberries, Blonde Moment. You know, I melted this in my living room. I said this yesterday, and I don't know. It feels like it's missing fizzy. <laughs> like it needs more fizzy. <laughs> needs more cowbell. I don't know. <laughs> so I probably will add a little bit more fizzy in for me because I love fizzy and I will add that in. I feel like it's much more creamy. 
from the sherbet than I was expecting, I guess. So it's not, it's definitely not Blonde Moment by itself. And so I think it, it was a little bit too creamy for my nose. So I'm going to add some fizzy to that. I pulled a few of these from the Kokomo Sampler from Rose Girls. Thought we'd try these. Kiwi, pink sugar, rainbow sherbet, saltwater taffy, and ice cream. Oh, it smells so good. I mean, all of these smell fantastic. This is cherry berry punch, Kool-Aid, rain rainbow sherbet, saltwater taffy, and ice cream. And then raspberry kokomo, which is raspberry, rainbow sherbet, saltwater taffy, and ice cream. So it's basically her kokomo blend is rainbow sherbet, saltwater taffy, and ice cream. And then adds other things to it. So I thought those would be really fun this week. I have Ava's Country Covered Pink Sugared Lemons. So delicious. And then two of these, what are we even calling these? What were they, cutie patooties, I want to say? <laughs> From L3, I have Fruit Punch Candy. This is discontinued. So we will use that in the bedroom and enjoy it. And then Tropical Punch. Wow, I can't hold these. <laughs> so... There you go. Okay, so give me your guess as to what, or it's not even really a guess, what am I missing? I'm not going to say it. I don't know why I didn't pull it, but we're doing the video. <laughs> so you'll see in my empties basket what category I did not pull, <laughs> and you'll see those in my empties video, so that will be a surprise. Now, I do have two candles. Let me move because I don't want to knock them. I have two candles. I think I told you guys in previous videos that what I'm doing... I've been inspired by Ashley Nicole for sure and Lexi from Two Quick Wicks. They are really good at their Project Use It Ups. <laughs> I'm sure there's quite a few other people, but those two, I just feel like they hold me accountable with their videos that they really do a great job of showing what they have used up. And so I really appreciate that because I have a lot of candles, a lot of candles. My husband's like, how many candles do you think you have? And I'm like, I don't know, do you, like a lot. <laughs> really not, like, I mean, they're not hanging out. Like they're in a really um, nice wall unit in our living room and they're put away. So thankfully they fit in there and it's not like we're tripping over candles, but there's a lot of candles. Okay, so <laughs> I, and I did good last week, actually. I did, I did really good. So I'm going to continue the trend here. We have from Bath & Body Works Orange Pineapple Punch. I've already started burning this. And I will tell you, it's a very light. I have read other accounts or seen other accounts on Instagram and such that people have said that this is really light. I would agree. I mean, so far, there's no burning issues, but literally it's been once. And yeah, it was really full to the top. <laughs> I was surprised. So the notes on this are tart orange juice, sweet pineapples, and vanilla sugar cane. So we will see how this does. We're going to give it a try and give it a chance to burn. <laughs> if it doesn't cooperate, you guys know it's going in the candle crack. And so that's how we do things here. And we'll go from there. This I have already burned a couple of times. So I definitely burned this on Memorial Day. This is red, white, and blue from Goose Creek. And I don't believe there's scent notes on here, but this one, I mean, if I smell it now, I can't really smell anything, which is weird. Yeah, so this is going, this is the, this is the candle that's going to be cracked for the week. I have already, like I said, I burned it a little bit. I find with Goose Creek candles, it's better to burn them a couple of times and burn some of that wax down because I literally had one that I never burned and it started bubbling up and it like was expanding out of the jar. It was so weird. <laughs> we don't want to take the chance again because I was freaking out. I was like trying to get wax out of it because I'm thinking it's going to make a huge mess, wreck my candle crack. So I don't know if you guys have had that experience, but it was crazy. So this is going to be cracked for the week. As you saw yesterday, I had a candle that I had cracked for the entire week and really enjoyed it. Every time I walked in here, it just smelled so good. And sometimes I was like, what is that smell? Is it the warmer behind me? It really took over at the beginning of the week. It took over. I could smell it out coming into my kitchen. So really, really enjoyed that. And so this will be the cracked candle of the week. So that is my melting basket for this upcoming sweltering heat wave <laughs> here in Michigan. Let me know what's the weather like for you guys. I was saying to my husband, I said, I bet there's going to be an area of the country that's normally sweltering that's not going to be as hot because we have other weather and I think I saw that 
with Texas. Hi, Casey. Are you getting better weather than I am? <laughs> but yeah, so I, that was kind of funny. I was like, I know that I said it's probably gonna be like 70s in Vegas or something. I don't know. Probably, I don't know. Who knows? But I know that a lot of us are getting super, super hot weather. So stay cool and I will see you next time. Bye everybody. Thank you.